OPEC, OPEC countries like Nigeria, Venezuela, when a three dollar sixty one cobo, Kuwait, petrol na thirty four naira fifty four cobo, Saudi Arabia twenty five naira, Malta, Qatar thirty four naira, Algeria sixty three naira, Libya twenty six naira, Nigeria one hundred and fifty naira. No way. Then they push us inside the wall now. And we're not fit to come again. So the people have come out. But see, one thing must be noted, that must be mentioned to the world. This is strictly non-violent. Everybody's feeling the Okonjo well as stupidity. Everybody's feeling the governance that does not care. This is a very strong thing because for the first time, we as Nigerians were bonding to try and achieve a common goal. Change for the better Nigeria. I, I came here scared. I cannot tell you I came confidently. I came scared of my life, but I came because I want to see a new Nigeria. I grew up seeing Nigeria without light. I grew up seeing Nigeria without water. I grew up seeing people on the street. Sometimes I'm almost close to tears when I see children roaming about. It's sad. Our government have failed us. Our parents have failed us because they've not spoken. It's time for us to speak. Look, look around you. Nigerians are tired. It's beyond for us subsidy. They use touts, they use people. Look at them, they are all here today. They are here to speak. They are also tired of being used as machineries for the government. We just want the government to stand up and be responsible. If they cannot be responsible, they should resign. It's only in Nigeria that people do not resign. Why? Because they are selfish. My parents stopped me today, but I damned the consequences. If I die, I die. But Nigeria has to move. I'm sick and tired of the government that shows no compassion, that doesn't care about me. And I'm sick and tired of a Nigeria that is slowly disintegrating. And I'm sick and tired of selfish leadership that is leading nowhere. We need to renegotiate Nigeria. That's why I'm here. There has been speculations that because this is so youth driven, that we probably won't be able to go for the long haul. What do you have to say? To that? I think when it comes to a marathon, we're talking about young people that are tech swabby, people that use social media. And the young people can be fooled. Our elders have mortgaged our future. So it's our time now to stand up. I don't know how Sharon sees it. They, they subsidized diesel almost eight years ago, telling us that they would use the money saved, yeah. this same PDP, to be diesel refinery till today. Kerosene, when they, uh, they subsidized the same thing. Now, foil is the one that links the poor and the rich. You see, diesel, it affects the rich, but the poor did not know that it was when they subsidized diesel. Everything that they manufacture, because all big companies use diesel, price went up. But now the big people, they buy diesel. Now they get diesel gen, nobody talk. Now poor man, they cook with, gen, uh, cook with uh, kerosene. You know, affect poor man. Everybody no come together. But petrol, different. Where do you see the power of social media in moving this uh, uh, movement, pushing this movement forward? Or I even live, bringing it up to this point? I live at Ogba. Mm. Two streets away, they killed young boys that were playing football, mm. doing nothing wrong. A DPO grabs a gun from one of his men, and because he's enraged that they dare to tell him, go away, they shot, he shot at them, they died. I mean, yesterday we started receiving BB messages. I was critical about it. Mm. Ultimately, the government, the state government, and the police commissioner had to react, mm. and the DPO, Atagege, mm. was arrested. So that's just a little instance. And I mean, look, go to Twitter, go to Facebook, go to Blackberry. People are reacting. This is our revolution. When we send our children to private schools, we are subsidizing their education. When we uh, hire a in front of our house, we are subsidizing security. When we have to buy a generator, we are subsidizing electricity. Nigerian people have sacrificed all that we can. We cannot sacrifice anymore. Donata gave order for kerosene till tomorrow he has not come down. He gave uh, order for, uh, for cement till tomorrow is iron. He made order for slate till tomorrow is iron. What he see is a commander in chief of who when he cannot control the big man in Nigeria. Fuel must come back to 50 naira. I'm a mother of children. Already some schools are sending text messages all done on school fees because they want to increase school fees. They should cut down on their lifestyle, cut down on their convoy, cut down on their domestic and official aids, cut down on their girlfriend's allowance. 
Last year alone, government spent 1.4 trillion naira to subsidize fuel. The year before, under Obasanjo, with all his profligacy, he spent only 200 billion. So why did we spend 1.4 trillion 2011? Is because it was used to finance election. And who were the people that put down the money for this election? Is this same oil cabal? It's very important for young people to understand that, yes, when you're young, you have a lot of energy. So you need to use that energy positively. It's time to direct that energy into something that your grandchildren will appreciate you for. The cost of living has tripled. Tripled. Do you understand? It's, inflation is by 120% now. Do you get? So how do you want the normal man whose minimum wage, 18000 to send a child to school? To uh, more than because obviously in, in an average Nigerian man doesn't have order, one child order, order. to send children to school to to keep a home going. Do you know how do you expect? So when the the, the the rise of crime now goes up, what what excuse would Jonathan give us? That he feels our pain? Oh yes, thank you. What we hear is that most of them, most of the leaders, they have refineries out of the country. It was a revealing truth that there is a built refinery at Niger Republic and Shad now. Who owns them? On which crude oil are those refineries built? We want to mobilize 40 million Nigerians to Asso Rock. Then if he wants to kill, let him kill us and finish all of us. But we need a change. We were not so much relying on labor whether to be part or not to be part. Mm. This is about Nigeria. Labor is an organization that depends on a particular interest. Mm interest of Nigerian workers mm. and some of us are private enterprises and so on and so forth. In mm. fact, in number we are more than the labels mm. and uh, soldiers of unemployment are even more than the labor. Mm. Ah, I'm going to start about with you. This one that we are even doing about is nothing. Jonathan should expect more criminals, should expect more war. We are coming to Elsorok to meet him. That's the only thing I want to say. I don't have much to talk.